Hello, I'm Adam Barillet and welcome to this Crystal Connection video where we're exploring a crystal known as Venenite. Now, Venenite is a bit of a rarer crystal and you can see from this beautiful sparkling orange colour, it's a really great one for the sacral chakra. Now, I got really excited as I started to learn more and more and work with this crystal because as many crystals that have a bright or vibrant colour, especially in that yellow, orange or red spectrum, they're really good at energising. But rather than this kind of being like a bit of a sugar burst crystal and that kind of boosts you up and then you kind of fall flat, it's got some really interesting ways that it works with maintaining your energy. And for myself, getting into my 40s now and that type of thing, Venadonite I think is going to be absolutely great for those that are getting a little bit older. Not that the young people can't use this, but that will kind of unfold as we talk about its ways that it works in this video. Now, a couple of things. Where did vanadinite get its name? Well, it's a primary source of vanadium, which is, of course, one of the elements of the periodic table. It also is a minor source of lead. So you do need to be a little bit careful when working with this crystal. Now, don't freak out and think that you can't work with it. Probably what you're cleaning your floors with or popping on your body is going to kill you way before a bit of vanadinite does. But don't go sticking this in water to make an elixir and then drinking it and probably keep it away from pets and children just to be sure. But this is a crystal that's here to help you and support you in many, many different ways. And that's what we're going to explore in this video. Vanadinite is really great for helping to bring out energy and motivation. And what I love about it, it's a hexagonal crystal. So any crystals that grow hexagonally really help to bring a bit of balance and perspective as well. So this is really going to help you when you've got goals, to give you the motivation to keep on proceeding with them, and also help you to do that in a way that is very structured and ordered. You know, if you're someone who tends to make these big plans and then not have a plan, for your plans and it doesn't follow through or it doesn't come to fruition, Vanadinite could be really, really great in that way. You know, being such an earthy kind of colored crystal, it's gonna work more, not so much with the heavenly realms, but with the earthly realms and really good for helping to bring up that universal or, you know, ever supplying energy that we get from the earth. So a really nice one to sit outside on the earth with your feet, bare feet on the ground and feel a bit of an upsurge of energy that way. This is going to be really great as well if you do anything like shamanic journeying or meditation or anything that does kind of take you into those higher states when you need to really be pulled back down or anchored back down try sitting on the earth with vanadinite and it will really do its work there but if you need to regain and restructure your energy this is going to be great Why I'm so excited about vanadinite is I'm telling you it's really great for giving you an energy burst, but this is a crystal of endurance. And one of the things that it really helps us with is conserving our energy. We know that sometimes we can overexert ourselves and then rely on external stimulants to keep us going. We know that's not good for us. Vanadinite teaches us where and when to direct our energy and to make sure that we do last the long haul. I guess in the story of the gold heron tortoise, this is more of a tortoise energy but a lot more vibrant than that. So Vanadinite is really great for helping us to conserve our energy, but also our time to make sure that we're using our time wisely and also our resources. So one of our biggest resources, of course, is our money. Vanadinite is gonna be really great for making sure that you are spending your money or using or directing your money most wisely. If you tend to overspend and squander your money away, try having a little piece of this in your purse or putting it in the fortune corner of your house according to Feng Shui um, principles. But this is going to be really, really powerful to help you kind of pace yourself, make sure you've got enough energy and to make sure that you are kind of getting things done that you want to get done. If you are feeling out of sorts or scattered, then try just getting the night and running it over your aura. And this can really help to bring back a bit of structure and a bit of order into your energy. Speaking of conservation, vanadinite is going to be really great for helping conservation of the earth as well. This is a great crystal that you might want to grid around or create a grid to protect a certain part of the world that's been kind of violated or the earth has been disturbed in some way. Maybe some mining or some logging or something like that. This is really helps to bring in that stability and helps to replenish the energy of that area so that things can start to regrow and nature can re return to her former uh, glory and harmony in that way. 
because of its really earthy kind of energy as well, this is going to help you to connect with the Fey realms and the elemental realms, especially the gnomes would be really great with this as well. Again, taking this out in nature, sitting peacefully and just allowing its energy to connect you with the earth and the beings of the earth would be really quite powerful as well. The other great thing about Vanadnite is often when we come to this physical reality onto this earth, we don't feel comfortable with our body. But working with our sacral chakra being an orange color, this really helps us to embrace our physicality. Now, if you believe that you chose your parents and you chose you know, the pathway that your life's taking and all the different things, surely you would have chosen your body as well. The body that we have guides our pathway and our experiences we have in life based on our looks, our weight, our DNA, our health, all those different things. And how we treat our body and how we respect our body also has a big uh, role in our spiritual journey. So if you are feeling uh, some form of hatred or not respecting or like a gratitude for your physicality and your body, Vanadnite could be really great for helping to reinstall um, a sense of gratitude and a sense of love for your body and what it allows you to do. And as we know, the more we are grateful for something, the more it gives us and the more we're able to do. So once we learn to be grateful with our body and that can be helped with Vedanite, we'll find that our body will offer us more and allow us to do more in life. I've referred to it a couple of times, but Vananite's going to be a powerhouse for the sacral chakra. Now, our sacral chakra, of course, it helps with intimacy and the more comfortable we are with our own body, the more we're going to be more comfortable, you know, connecting with other people on that sexual or intimate level, but also creativity. This is going to be really great for that. It's going to fire up those creative juices and help you if you need to just come up with a smart idea or if you work in a creative field, this is going to be a real blessing to have on your desk to keep you working and to keep you um, in that creative pro process, especially if it's a creative project to keep you motivated in that and not give up when, you know, sometimes when we're in the arts or the creative um, you know, arenas, we don't always get support and it can be a bit of a tough or lonely road. This is going to really help you to kind of stick with that challenge. This is a crystal that is renowned for helping to get rid of creative blocks and physical blocks in your life as well. So if you're feeling stuck creatively and you need to kind of open up that energy of the sacral chakra and allow that to flow more freely, Vanadnite no, is going to be really great for that. Vanadnite, because of its endurance, is going to work really well with other kind of energizing crystals. So, you know, some of my favorites are things like Zincite. Now, that's got a real va va voom to it, or Carnelian is really great, or Sunstone, or Imperial Topaz. But if you're worried about, you know, having that kind of sugar high from those other crystals and then running flat, bring in some Vanadnite as well to kind of keep that endurance in. Now, if you know that you've got a long week ahead or you've somewhere where you need some endurance, whether it be physical, mental, emotional, or spiritual, then try combining this with tiger iron. Of course, tiger iron is a combination of tiger eye, jasper, and uh, hematite all growing together. Those two, that with vanadinite, are going to be really, really powerful at bringing that endurance. Now, if you're working with high vibration crystals, maybe doing some intuitive work with something like lapis lazuli or blue sapphire or iolite or tanzanite, or you've been working with some of the, you know, the super duper clear crystals like phenakite, naturalite, scolocite, all those kind of high vibration crystals, and you need something to kind of anchor, you know, as you go up, you need something to make sure you don't go too far up and keeps you down. I'd go for vanadinite there as well. It's really going to help to keep you anchored and grounded, but still not prevent you from hitting those heights that you want to hit in your spiritual ascension. I truly believe as you start working with Vedanite more, you're going to find that it becomes a really special crystal in your collection and has a special place in your heart. Now remember, whenever we get a new crystal, or if we've been using a crystal a lot, it needs to go on holidays. It needs to rebalance and cleanse its energy. So you want to cleanse this. Now I kind of toyed up with which kind of energy from nature I'd want to use to kind of cleanse this crystal. Normally for something so fiery, I'd, I'd opt for fire. You know, plant, placing this near an open fire about a meter away, like a campfire or a fire in your home. However, fire is so volatile and, you know, kind of in the moment, and earth seems a bit too sleepy. So I think I'd really go with probably placing it out in the sun, either around sunrise or sunset, because the sun is that constant flow of energy, reliable source of energy that we have ongoingly. So I think the sun is what I've 
kind of settled on for cleansing this crystal with. But if you disagree with me, I'd love to hear in the comments and we'll, we'll, we'll thrash it out together. I haven't cleansed this crystal. I've only been working with this crystal for a shorter time. So I haven't cleansed it as much with different ways to play around with that. Now, you know, I love to pair my crystals also with different other aspects as well. So when it comes to the animal kingdom, I really think of the tiger. You know, it's got that fieriness and that passion of the tiger to make sure that we have that energy that we need. But as we know of all cats, that they don't roam around all day, that they expend their energy and then they conserve their energy for when they need it. And so tiger really comes in with an that. From an essential oil perspective, from the plant kingdom, grapefruit really comes into me really strongly. And grapefruit is the oil that really helps us to honour our body and respect our body and have great uh, gratitude for our body. So what we're talking about with that, loving our physicality and honouring our body. And I guess, you know, what I was talking about at the start is as I get into, you know, my 40s, I'm realising now that sometimes I don't have endless energy and I need to conserve my energy like a bear in order to be able to give out more energy as well. So grapefruit really helps you to honor your body and know when it's okay to say, I just can't do that. So all you all of you in your 20s and your 30s that still have endless energy, savor that while you can. Work with Vanad Night, get a really good piece of it because you'll need it as you get older. And people that are listening in their 50s and 60s are probably saying, oh, you don't even know what's gonna happen. Anyway, from an energetic point of view, this would definitely correspond with the planet Mars. Mars has that real, fiery, ambitious, progressive energy about it. And Mars, of course, rules Tuesday. That's gonna be your best day to do any of your major workings with Vanad Night. So just remember that because it has a little bit of lead in it, you do need to be a little bit careful with it, but that I would never use that as a deterrent to stop working with this amazing crystal. If you've had any experience with this crystal, please share with our crystal loving community and leave a comment in the section below and we can all learn from each other. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. I'm Adam Barrowley. Blessed be.